Okay, so you need those two equations in order to work out your resistances uh, when they're in series and when they're in parallel. Okay? So let's say we have a circuit that's up here. We have a 4 ohm resistor here, 6 ohm, 6 ohm, and a 3 ohm resistor here. We're asked to find the total resistance at the terminal. Okay? We're asked to find the total resistance at the terminal. How do we work through this? First, we name the resistance R1, R2, R3, R4. You can do that if you want to, yeah. Parallel is first. Right. That's a parallel circuit, right? Well, it was not parallel. There's a portion of it that does have yeah. parallel right. components. Right. Yeah. Okay? So, as the gentleman over here indicated, what I like to do personally with the terminals on the left side, I start from the right side and start collapsing the circuit um, backwards uh, towards the terminal. Okay, so I have these two resistors here that are in parallel. Remember they're in parallel, but they're connected together at both uh, terminals. That's our junction where the two of those are connected together. Okay, so the parallel combination of those two circuits, uh, pardon me, those two resistors, is going to be uh, 1 over 6, right? Plus 1 over 6. Take the inverse of that, and that's going to give us the combination, and we'll call that Let's go ahead and call that R and I'll put two blue lines back there to indicate that it's R parallel. Okay? That's going to be our parallel combination that we call that there. Okay? So what would be the, the value of those two resistors at that point? Three. Okay, so you know the trick. Good enough. I'll talk about them later. I wasn't sure who all did or did you know. Okay, so the parallel combination is equal to three ohms. <laughs> I guarantee you they will have some trick stuff on there. Or let me not say trick, because it's really not a trick. But if you do know certain tricks, you can minimize the amount of work that you do. And I'm glad if they were equal, well, probably be good to mention the keystrokes on the calculator. Okay, I'm not familiar with the keystrokes. Oh, you mean oh, you mean well, how to work on calculating? Yeah. Yes, I'll definitely yeah. do that. Thank you. I'm glad you mentioned that. Thank you. Um, okay. So the two the resistors here, one six, one six. Uh, take the inverse of that, you end up getting 3 ohms, okay? So this parallel combination here is equal to 3 ohms. Now here's the thing, when I combine those two resistors together, when I combine those two resistors together, that 4 ohm resistor, that newly composed 3 ohm resistor, and this 3 ohm resistor are now in series. Okay? So now this becomes 4 plus 3 plus 3, giving us what? 10 ohms as my resistance as seen at the terminal. Okay? Now, what if you did not know this trick? Oh, by the way, let me talk about the trick. Um, if you have two resistors that have the same value, okay, and they are in parallel, what you do is you take the, the value of their combination is half of the resistor value. Okay? It's half the resistor value. So in this case, we have two 6 ohm resistors that are in parallel. Half of 6 is 3, so the parallel combination is 3 ohms. Okay? If you have to have three resistors that are in parallel, and if they have the same value, you do one third. If you have four resistors that are in parallel, and they have the same value, you take one fourth. So on and so forth. You guys get it? So if you happen to see a question on the exam and it happens to have something of the sort, go ahead and do that. Yes, sir. What's the problem on that one? If you have two resistors, you want to get the R total? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, say that again. On that question, if you have two resistors, you want to get the R total? If you have two resistors? Yeah, well, what you was just doing up there? Oh, I did the parallel combination of this gives me three ohms. And then when that parallel combination is in series with the rest of these, Okay. Or if you want to think about this, um, if you want a little bit more of a, a clearer explanation of, of that, uh, this is now 4 ohms. The parallel combination is 3, is three ohms. And, and this is equal to 3 ohms here. Okay? Yes, sir. I think there's another formula for. Uh, the bar is when you only have two, two resistors, right? Yeah. 
Yes. Um, let's see. You multiply. What is it? You multiply the numerator with. Multiply the. No, you multiply the denominator. Then you add the numerator plus that is six. I think the numerator is like R1 times. Oh, no, no. It's multiplying in, in the numerator. You multiply the numerator R1 times. And you sub them into the denominator. And, and then you divide by R1 plus R2. Yeah. Um, because this one is good for when you have more than two. Yes, this is definitely good for when you have more than, right. than two. Uh, let me look see. Hold on. 6 is 6, 36. 36 divided by 12 is, uh, yeah. So you multiply the resistor values. Go, go, that goes in the numerator. And you divide by the sum in the Put that in the denominator and then you divide. You do the divide. So the two resistors in the numerator would end up being equal to what? 36, right? You divide by 12 being the sum of the two, and that gives you 3 ohms. Okay? Yeah, that only works, um, that works when you're dealing with two resistors. Yeah. Okay? Alright.